Okay, so you are on a hunt to find graphic novels by black authors and you ran into a wall. You know what? I've been there. So I figured I would share some graphic novels that I've enjoyed that are by black authors or black creators. So let's get into it. First off is one that is a little bit on the cusp. This is Anne of West Philly and this is by Ivy Noel Weir, a white author and Maisha Haynes, a black illustrator. It is a modern take of Anne of Green Gables where Anne is a black character who has been orphaned like the original and is coming into a new family. It is beautifully illustrated. I actually am friends with the illustrator, very talented and highly recommend her work. So this is Anne of West Philly. Uh, the next kind of unconventional one would be Check Please by Ngozi Yukazu. This is illustrated and created by a black author and illustrator, but it is a completely white story. So. It is supporting a black author, but admittedly, as much as I loved the story, which is true for pretty much all of what I'm going to be sharing today, it doesn't really feel like you are reading from a black author, even though it is very cute and adorable. Okay, now going more into what most people are looking for, we have our recent release, Wash Day Diaries by Jamila Rouser and Robin Smith. And this is a great story about friendship and several different black hair care routines. It's woven into the story in such a fun way. Highly recommend. Another wonderful one would be Nubia Real One by L.L. McKinney and Robin Smith. And this is basically about a young black superhero having to deal with her superpowers along with general things about being a young girl. This was fantastic. There are some wonderful topics that are brought up and it just, I don't know, it just really made me smile. Highly recommend. And then we have Bingo Love by T. Franklin, Jen Staonge and Joy San. And this is a sapphic romance about second chance love. This edition is the jackpot edition, which also includes a bunch of fan art things towards the end. It's very sweet, highly recommend. And then the last official one would be what We Don't Talk About by Charlotte Christensen. And this is about an interracial couple and the struggles of being with somebody who doesn't really understand the racial situations that you have. So it's these two kind of going to his family for dinner and what kind of comes of that. It's a very strong conversation, beautifully done, highly recommended. And then the last thing that I would recommend isn't really a graphic novel. It is a webcomic series called The Substitutes. This is also by Maisha Haynes, my friend. I'm a huge fan of the series. It is currently available for free on the substitutecomics.com, I believe. You should be able to look it up, but I also have it linked down below, along with where you can get all of the other graphic novels that I have mentioned. This one, unfortunately, the physicals are not available unless you catch her at a convention at this moment. Hopefully she will add them up at some point because it's really nice having the physicals, but you can read them online for free. So those are all of the recommendations that I have right now. Unfortunately, it really isn't a lot. There are some traditional comics that are available that are done by black authors and black illustrators, but I am kind of more interested in more graphic novels versus traditional superhero comics. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below and hopefully we can compile an even greater list for everybody. Thank you so much for everybody who has watched the video, like, subscribe, and who joins the Patreon. Big shout out to all of the Patreon besties. Y'all are the real ones. If you want some more reading vlogs or book videos, you can check them out here and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye!